Hey guys, so I'm going to be getting up at like, I don't know, 2.40 in the morning. It's, uh, it's already 1.20 to go spearfishing. I'm gonna drive down south to San Diego. And because it's so early in the morning, you know, your, your head's foggy and you just don't wanna be doing a bunch of stuff. So I try to get as much as I can get ready tonight, but I'm going to shave also. So I found that my shave at night when I wake up, still baby smooth. So that's gonna be perfect. Just one less thing I gotta do in the morning. So I'll see you guys in a handful of hours. Okay, time to get up. It's uh, about 2.40 a.m. So time to roll. Hey guys, we're in the car now. Um, Heading down to San Diego. It's uh, almost a quarter after three in the morning. It's quite dark out. I don't know if you can see the moon. And I've got to be driving for maybe an hour and 15 minutes or so. So, all part of spearfishing on the open water. You gotta get to the boat, get the boat to your dive spots, and uh, Maybe ballpark will be in the water by seven in the morning. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, uh, we made it this far. So far, so good on timing. All right. See you in a bit. Guys, we're, uh, we're on the boat. It's about 5:15. Took a little while to get all of our gear on here and get set up. So now we're headed out. A little foggy. <laughs> it's still pitch black. So we'll see how it goes. There's a massive mola mola here. These sunfish are beautiful. They're like an alien creature. And they do end up on patties quite often. Look at this guy, this guy's huge. Well, I think he had enough of me. We've been patty hopping and searching for signs of tuna, mainly boils where the tuna are striking bait fish along the surface. We're actually heading towards a boil that we see in the surface. And it's time to drop our floats and drag them so that they stay out of our way once we make our drops. I'm in the seated position facing back, all my gears on, and I'm letting line out right now. So we're just getting ready, and I'm doing my breathe up right now, trying to relax my heartbeat and counter the excitement that I feel. And suddenly, I hear the motor speed up, and I realize, uh-oh, we're going too fast, and sure enough, my gun gets sucked in. When you're towing floats, you really can't be going too fast or else. This is what happens. Luckily, everything stayed together and we came back to get the gun later. We decided to move on. The gun will be there and we wanted my buddy to have a chance on that boil. They disappear quick. And just 50 yards later, we're there. I'm just sitting there, totally pissed and dejected. I am so close, but I can't do anything. Ah, frustrating. Yeah, I have no gun. It's out of my hand. I grab my paddy gun with a reel. I jump in and instantly I'm surrounded by all these tuna scales floating in the water from the tuna boiling just moments before. So I take a breath and punch my dive. I'm trying to stay calm. I was just pissed and now I'm in the water 
So, relax and drop. And before long, I see tuna. There's a whole bunch of mixed tuna, but they actually look bigger. And oh my god, look at this guy. Oh. In that fraction of a moment, I see this guy at my level, in range, coming towards me, and I realize he's 60 to 80 pounds and way too big to shoot on this real gun. I had a tuna that size rip my gun right out of my hands before I knew it. So at that depth and the distance I was away from the boat, there was no way I would be able to get to the surface before that tuna took all the line out of my reel and either ripped the gun out of my hands or dragged me down. I am now upset because I don't have my blue water gun on a float line that I can take a shot with. Unbelievable. Pretty good size. I was afraid to shoot. I had a shot, I was afraid to shoot, it was a pretty good size. The one I was looking at. That was awesome, baby. Dude, awesome. they were right there. Yeah, they were, they were everywhere. I had the shot, but I'm looking like, this thing's big. They are like, it could be 60 to 80. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, it's gonna rip that gun out of my hand. Dude, let's go get your gun. Let's get my gun. If I had my gun, guaranteed. Guaranteed. I was like 15 feet away mm -hmm. and I couldn't get close enough. I like, they were moving so fast. They were moving fast. You have to get in the nose. When I first dropped, they came right under me and I swung the gun. They kind of spooked and then came back and then came another way. Hey guys, that was an exciting adventure, right? Man, so close and yet so far. But that's how it is in spearfishing. You know, you get these opportunities and sometimes you close the deal and sometimes you don't. But you can't judge whether you had a successful trip or a fun trip based purely on whether you got fish or not. Because I think if you do that, you're in for a whole lot of disappointment. I think you have to ask yourself, hey, did you have a good time diving with your buddies? Maybe you met someone new to dive with. Did you enjoy being on the boat or from the shore? Did you get in the water and maybe see something new or experience something you wouldn't, you've never experienced before? And more importantly, did you come back safe and sound? And if you did any of those things, hopefully all of them, it's a successful trip. And that's why we go back and do it more. Chase after game, chase after experiences, chase after fun. And that's how I do it. So I had a great day today. Obviously better if I got a fish to share with the people in my life. But I'm going to go back and try again. Let me know if you've had any wacky things like what happened to me today happened to you. And I'd love to, I'd love to hear about it. Well, with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give her brother a like. And consider subscribing and join me diving beautiful California and beyond. Until then, take care. This is a huge bait ball that tuna were striking before we got in the water in this spot. Now, this is what tuna see. <laughs> it's beautiful. Unfortunately, the tuna had already moved on, so my one and only shot left with the rest of the tuna. Oh well. There's always next time. And I'll bring you guys along.